up Libran thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys I am back thank you so much for your patience for those who even noticed I was gone but um yeah work just got so overwhelming for me and I'm just like if I don't take a step back for at least a month or two I'm gonna absolutely hate myself my life and everybody in it so I just I needed a break guys so thank you so much for your patience on that I hope you guys have been well I know it's been a crazy hectic past two months but we got through it if you're watching this you're still alive and healthy so that's great all right so libra i want to see what's going on for you guys this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus signs keep in mind that the energy get cut off sometimes but what i was saying was keep in mind that the energy could be transferable it could be something that you're picking up on or that i'm picking up on about you or someone around you okay So let's see what's going on and i'm excited guys because you know during this time i wasn't sure you know where i wanted to live or i wanted to be but i decided to move back to new york so i am back i am in the city and i'm just so grateful to be here and out of florida you guys have no idea southern states are absolutely nuts right now i want no part in it all right so what is going on here All right, we have the Ace of Swords Reverse, King of Swords Reverse. What's going on, Libra? Let's talk about it. And we have the Nine of Wands. Energy, Five of Cups in the Reverse, Full Card in the Reverse, Queen of Cups in the Reverse, Ace of Wands. Is this your energy or someone else's? Okay. Nope, this is you. So... If there's something that you guys are working on financially or some sort of come up you're trying to have financially, specifically speaking, you're going to see great success in that. But regardless of what this is, Libra, there is something that you are doing and you are being so, I want to say aggressive, even though it's not going to be aggressive for some of you, but you're so aggressively protective over yourself and something that you're building. So, I see an attitude where someone's like, fuck everyone else. I'm going to do what works for me. I'm going to do what benefits me. And, you know, a lot of the times when someone has that energy, it's like, wow, you're such an asshole. In this case, no, it's not coming from an asshole perspective. It's coming from someone that's like, you know, I deserve this. It's something that I'm meant to be doing and I deserve this win. So, I'm going to focus on myself. It's not always a selfish thing to put yourself first, and that's what you're doing. But the reason why I say it's a good thing in this case is because you have the higher font below it. Meaning that with you being so selfish and unapologetic with what it is that's coming in, or what it is that you're building, this is meant to happen. This is on your life path. This is what spirit wants you to be doing. So you're protecting yourself, but there's a reason for it. It's because you're onto something where you're gonna see great success. There's just something that I feel you guys have to part ways with or just move away from. Okay, now we see the King of Pentacles here. So for some of you, maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but let's see why that King of Pentacles is here. Two of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. You guys are gonna make some sort of decision that makes you very happy. It's either gonna be in regards to finances or it's going to be in regards to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person or someone with earth in their charts okay and this is something you celebrate this is something that's a very solid decision you're unapologetic about it you're ready to cut someone if they're against what you're doing or if they're trying to get in your way so yeah you're really solidly deciding to follow your destiny that's really what I see here all right so let's take a past present and future look here you guys are definitely onto something huge. What is going on for the sign of Libra? Past, present, and future. August 2020. What are my Libras going through? deck in a second yeah this is ready this deck guys I don't know if I said it already but this is the wizard's tarot all right 
right, so we have past, present, okay, future. All right, Libra, let's talk about it. Your energy here is the Eight of Swords in the reverse, taking the blindfold off, seeing something for what it is, seeing what was limiting you and what was making you stagnant, and again, just getting past that and putting yourself into manifestation mode. Again, Libra, if you guys are doing anything new um, that can bring you finances, it's going to be fucking strong. You're going to be making a shitload of money. Don't forget to donate. All right, so this is going to be solid, guys. Um... But yeah, you put yourself into manifestation mode and it's something that brings quite a bit of abundance. If it's not financial abundance, then it could be abundance in love. It could be abundance in your social life. It could be abundance just in your life in general. Okay, so let's look at your past, guys. So there is a situation here that I feel did not go as expected. I feel like something hit like a peak climax point where it's like, okay, this is as bad as it's going to get and we're not going to ever let it be this bad again. So it's like the worst that could have happened and something happened, but I feel like you guys had to move away from something and I feel like that was a difficult loss for you. All right, so let's see why these cards are popping up. Why is the Six of Swords here? We have the Chariot Reverse and the... The worst part is, for a lot of you, you had no control over it. So this was something that was hard to part ways with. For some of you, it, it doesn't even have to be like a relationship. Maybe it was a job. Maybe, God forbid, someone passed away. But this was out of your control. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Something was seen as a waste of time and effort. Something made you very protective over yourself. But there's something you just couldn't move forward with anymore. And I feel like someone did their best to try to... Um, suppress their pain or their disappointment but something just wasn't working out why is this wheel of fortune here page of cups nine of pentacles in the verse so something was seen as draining i feel like there is an offer that was you know manipulative you really desired this or maybe someone else really desired this but someone just said mm -mm, i'm not gonna take this okay why is this ten of swords reversed Queen of Wands, and we have the Four of Pentacles, so yeah, it's like the worst that could have happened in the situation did happen, and this could be either two people, or this could be one person feeling all this, but it could be that somebody just felt very depleted and angry altogether, or that somebody felt very, very angry, and another person felt very, very depleted, but there's something that your soul just wanted you to move away from even though you may have had a desire for it or it had a desire towards you but i just see too much of an unstable energy around this um and it's the sort of situation where if you didn't bring it out of your life the universe would have done it anyways and they for a lot of you the universe did do it okay now in your present moment i like these energies guys because you have the full card the tower card the hanged man you have a whole new chapter that drastically changes your life and it feels natural to you okay so this is something where you don't have to pretend to be someone you're not you don't have to bend over backwards you don't have to jump through hoops you just you're just you and the only thing might be that might be tough is you might go into this feeling a bit depleted or tired or in a place where you don't feel like you have all the resources that you need but this is always very good energy here with these three ma uh, these three major arcanas King of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why is this tower card here? Three of Pentacles reversed. Emperor in the reverse. Okay. Why is this hanged man here? Nine of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups. Okay, Libra, so there's something I really want you guys to be careful about because there's a drastic change that's going to happen regardless, but I feel that there is something you're being asked to contribute into, whether it's a relationship, something with work, something with friends. Um, this is something that's going to deplete you. I feel like most likely it's going to be financial. If not, it could just be emotional, but I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that would deplete you financially and someone has ulterior motives and spirit is saying that this is something that would cause a lot of burden so you're going to want to take the path of least resistance which means you have to walk away from this um 
but it's like someone is trying to stay in power in kind of like a corrupt way and and they're asking for help that i feel depletes those who help but it could benefit them and you know this deep down inside you have the king of swords the queen of swords the high priestess in reverse High priestess in the reverse is when someone knows the truth about something. Maybe they're just doubting it or you, they don't want to believe it, but they know. And the fact that your energy comes up upright for the king of swords and the uh, queen of swords, that shows that for a lot of you, again, there's going to be vice versa situations, but there's a lot of you where you don't mean to have ill intention towards this. Someone will just naturally have it towards you. So protect yourself because we have, you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing moving forward we have the knight of swords the five of wands reverse and the judgment card in the reverse you guys see it for what it is you guys put that logic into play and i don't see anyone you know screwing you over even if you don't want to believe that they were capable of screwing you over at first so you make the right decision which is to walk away and knowing something was a bad call we have the empress card And we have the four of wands reversed. Okay, why is this five of wands reversed here? Seven of wands. Seven of swords in the reverse. And why is this judgment card reversed here? Ace of swords. And we have the ten of pentacles. Okay. Okay. Um... This is going to be very specific of what I say, and you know, if it, if it was a personal reading, I'd be confident that this is for the person, but this message is going to be just for a few of you. There's thousands of you watching this, but for some of you specifically, there's going to be two to three things that you need to reject, especially if it has to do with your money or just some sort of offer where it can deplete you. You might have to reject something about two to three times. It could be from the same person or scenario. Or it can be different things but you avoid that and you have a new beginning that's very prosperous for you um, if you guys are getting into something new financially speaking where it was gonna be a partnership some of you may be doing it solo Because you're clear-minded in all of this while it's being built. You're seeing it for what it is. And whatever this is, you guys are capable of doing it completely on your own. It's just that there might be partners that are dropped. Whether it's romantic or business. There may be friendships that are dropped. But you have so much abundance that comes in once you drop this. So I always use that as like a clear indicator. When you lose something or someone in your life what happens right after and if the answer is a lot of good shit starts happening for you once you lose someone or something you know then take that as it is and, and live accordingly okay because that's a big red flag there we should be able to excel around anyone that wants to be around us so if we can't that's a red flag to not entertain it um with you, like I said, you guys are going to have to reject a few things. With what you guys are getting into, though, it's going to feel kind of like it's an unstable transition as you're getting into this. But you have your head on right for it. You have the right thought process. You know, anytime your cards come out, it's in the upright. Unless when you got, unless, you know, besides before, rather, where the King of Swords in reverse came out. But in that case, that was you guys just, like, really protecting yourself. Okay. All right. So let's get some cards of guidance on all of this. What sort of guidance the spirit want to give to my Libras? King of Swords Reverse. Okay. We were just talking about this card. A lot of protection coming from you guys. 
Ten of Wands, Tower card in the verse, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. Okay? You're going to have to be a hard-ass Libra. I'm telling you right now that there's going to be people who look at you and they don't understand what the hell you're going through. And they're going to be like, wow, did you see that that Libra is such an asshole for finally, like, you know, or for doing this, this, that, and the third? And it's kind of like the best way to put this, guys, is think of a dog that is constantly being beat by its owner. And it's being beat, and it's being beat, and it's being beat. And it takes months, years of a beating. And then one day the owner, you know, is walking it outside and it goes to like pet the dog and maybe the dog has some sort of trauma and the dog bites back. You know, the dog just bites. Owner's bleeding. A neighbor from across the street can look at it and be like, oh my God, that's not good. We need to put your dog down. I can't believe your dog just did that. Little do they know, this dog's been abused for years. That's the king of swords in the reverse. I'm not being a cunt or an asshole just because I woke up wanting to be this way. Your bullshit, your betrayal, your heartbreak, your disappointment made me this way. So you guys have to be very strong with and just have a very strong spine with what you're doing because not everyone's going to understand and this is a very strong energy so when it comes out there's either going to be black you know this is black or white either someone's going to understand why you're this way or they're not going to understand at all and i think that a lot of people in this world right now are just doing a lot of stupid shit so a lot of people just aren't going to understand so you have to be able to stand your ground and to live in the way that you're supposed to even when those around you don't understand they call you a bitch cool that's fine they call you an asshole cool that's fine i know why i'm acting this way i know what got me to this point i'm not taking your shit no more this person has had enough this person will not be hit again this person will not be bit again this person's ready to fuck shit up if someone wants to stand head to head with them or toe to toe however it goes this is someone that enough is enough they might feel like they have nothing to lose or that they have everything to lose that's why they're being so protective okay but regardless of why this person is this way you don't want to fuck with them you don't nothing good will come of it because they've been pushed to a point where like it's just not gonna happen you know because this is usually an energy that they're usually not that confrontational like me i'm not confrontational if you guys ever see me cursing someone out in the street then hopefully someone recorded what they did to me because I just, I, I don't come out of character. Nobody in this world deserves that sort of energy from me, you know? So I just don't. Six of Pentacles reverse, Empress card in the reverse, Fool card reverse. So you're dodging the bullet of something that was a mistake and something that you're like becoming independent from and self sufficient from. And there's just so much power coming in. But you guys just have to be careful because there's something that looks so appealing and so trustworthy. But it's the devil in disguise okay remember that the devil comes as everything you ever wanted so the devil's not gonna come out with a pitchfork and horns the devil's gonna come out as your type hey you like girls with blonde hair and blue eyes that's gonna be your next devil okay you like you know to um, I don't know go to certain places things like that like that that can be the next devil that comes in so with what you guys have to be protected from it's not something that at first you're going to feel you need to be protected from it. Some of you may. But it's something that's going to seem harmless. It's going to seem like nothing can come from this in a negative way. Oh, but it can. And it will if you allow it. But I don't see you guys allowing it. So you guys are the most logical sign. When it comes to thinking, you guys take the fucking first place trophy on it. So be logical about this. If it's not adding up, don't try different equations. Just scrap it all up, you know, put it in a ball and throw it out in the garbage. That's it. If it doesn't make sense, then you don't have time for it, Libra. All right, guys. So very interesting reading. I can't wait to see what comes up, you know, with the future readings that we do. Um, now, if you guys, if this resonated with you and you'd like to make a donation, all of that information is in the description below. So thank you so much if you choose to support the channel. It helps a lot, um, especially since I wasn't working for two months. So I'm like, I have to get back on YouTube. Like, my savings are starting to go down. So <laughs> let's get to it. But um, in regards to personal readings, guys, that's a big reason why I just needed to take a step back because working with so many people one-on-one -on -one just, I, I basically just lost who I was. You know, I, I had no time for me. And it's just tough when you have thousands of people feeling entitled to you 
and you're just one person so if I wasn't doing 10 15 20 readings a day I was behind and it's just for anyone who reads tarot you know that that's almost impossible you're not gonna be able to do that every single day of your life there's no way especially if you're going through something and I went through my shit you know in the last uh, few months but the only thing I'm offering guys is going to be emergency readings they're slightly more expensive than the regular readings that I had, but you get it within 24 hours, excluding weekends. And then you have two options on how to get it. I can either pre-record it and email it to you, or we can do it live. But again, um, keep in mind, I don't work on the weekends. So if you order it Friday to Sunday, the latest you'll get it is Monday. Sometimes I do work, but I don't want to promise that, especially if I just want to unwind. So I don't want anyone being mad at me for taking time off. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys again for your patience. Um, and thank you for understanding, you know, this whole reading thing is hard, so I'm just trying to slowly gravitate away from it. So with the emergency option, I'll be doing maybe like 10 to 20 readings a week as opposed to doing two, like 200 readings a week. Much easier for me, okay? I love you guys. Take care.